Okay, hello! We're back here at Ecole Holt Couture with Couture Sewing Tips and Secrets. Right now what we're going to show you is a marking stitch and a basting stitch. I'm still working here on my cape jacket and I'm going to mark with a marking stitch my center line where we last did Taylor's Tacks. So I have two threads so that you can see it better, but one thread is just fine. Start out with, by taking a short stitch, probably only about half a centimeter, and three equal stitches. So you have one, two, three, in and out. Then pull through. Then you can take a long stitch. I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit and make it longer than I typically would, so that you can really see. So on the front side you have this long line that's showing exactly where that center front is going to be. On the back, all that you have is the two picks. This marking line is really good because it's unbroken. There's only that tiny little bit where you can't see the line. And at the end, we're just going to do a back stitch because we will want to remove this later on. And snip your thread. Another place that you can use this marking stitch is to mark the right side of your fabric. If you can see this red line here, it's the same stitch, two short picks and one longer one. Two short and one longer. So on the back, all you see is the little picks, so that you can really tell that this is the right side of the fabric. Now for basting, I have this one seam here pinned together. It's a round seam, that's why I have both vertical and horizontal pins. The marking stitch was uneven, um, top and bottom. This basting stitch you would like to have even, top and bottom. So if your stitch length is about one and a half centimeters, which is good for sewing a seam like this together for the first fitting, you want it to be one and a half centimeters on the top and the bottom of the work. Remove the pins as, as you come to them. Depending on where you're working, you can take more than one stitch. But because right now I'm working on a critical seam that's also round, I prefer to only do one stitch at a time so it doesn't shift the work. So in Couture we always baste everything together first by hand completely. Not just certain areas, but the entire garment. That's how it comes out so perfectly. There's no damage done to the fabric. You can easily remove it and adjust something to get the fit just right.
Okay. And to finish your basted seam, simply do a back stitch, or if you're at some place like the shoulder seam at the neck, where it will come apart easily during the fitting, do a double back stitch. But you don't want to do anything that will um, disrupt the fabric later on. Snip your thread, and it's ready for a fitting. So from the right side of the fabric, this nice round seam comes out here. That's why it's so important to have those vertical pins in over the curve so you can make sure that one side of the fabric is not longer than the other.